Всем привет! Сегодня впервые свой доклад представит новый самостоятельный отдел нашей компании, отдел образования. Тема Small Talk о How to Break the Ice и спикер Дарья Марчук. Даш, привет! Тебе слово. Привет! Угу, спасибо. Uh, I suppose that I will switch to the English language because uh, the presentation will be in English. Uh, so uh, today we're going to speak about the small talk of how to break the ice. Uh, so um, the first, yeah, that we're going to talk about is uh, the definition of a small talk. Yeah, so why do we need that? What are the purposes of the small talk? Uh, so about the people uh, attitude to that and so on and so forth. Uh, the second point is about the topics which are appropriate or inappropriate for the small talks because you have to be aware really about what you're talking about and uh, which topic to develop with the speaker. Uh, next, about some tips uh, how to make the conversation flow, right? How to make it uh, go smoothly. And um, uh, Next point, uh, how people from different cultures uh, treat small talks, because uh, so some of them uh, suppose that it's really important, some of them don't think it's important, and everything depends on the nation. Uh, so, and uh, the last about do's and don'ts of a small talk, we will sum up what you uh, really have to do, right, and what you don't have to do, so uh, while making the small talk. So let's start with the first, right? Um, so before uh, I'm going to present this uh, topic, right? I want you to uh, ask yourself several questions. So do I know how to start a conversation with people I see for the first time? So do I know what you I can discuss with them and how they will react to that? And do I know how to make a conversation go smoothly? So if uh, you have the answer no to any of the questions, so welcome to our presentation. So and uh, today I will try to help you to uh, get the answer yes to all these questions. So and the first is the definition of a small talk, right? What stands behind the definition of a small talk and what are its main purposes? So small talk is a casual conversation based on trivial topics in an informal setting, right? So I'd like to focus on the fact that it's informal setting, right? So um, in spite of seeming to have little useful purpose, small talk is a bonding ritual and a strategy for managing interpersonal distance. It serves many functions in helping to define the relationships between friends, colleagues, and new acquaintances. In particular, it helps new acquaintances to explore and categorize each other's so social position. So small talk is an inevitable part of different processes. It's, it can be job interview, it can be the interview for the project, it can be conference, it can be meeting, and so on and so forth. So, and um, the informal conversation that um, like people have yeah so is used to break the ice and set the tone for the formal conversation right um, while it may seem like in irrelevant to chat right so people also can use this opportunity yeah so while having a small talk to assess your personality and uh, see whether you're okay or good com communicate um, conversation maker or not uh, so uh, I have uh, pointed out uh, three main purposes of uh, the small talk. So uh, the first one, yeah, so the first purpose is a conversation opener, right? Uh, so when the speakers do not know each other, it allows them to show that they have friendly intentions and desire some sort of positive interaction. So, and um, in business meetings, it enables people to establish each other's reputation and level of expertise. Um, also, it allows them to signal their own mood and to sense the mood of the other person, right? So, this is a good, you know, like a uh, way to open the conversation. So, the second one, uh, it's like um, better like, to put space filler to avoid silence. Uh, so, 
uh, very often people yeah, from different, from many cultures uh, consider silence between two people uh, to be really awkward and uh, uncomfortable, right? And I suppose that you also can uh, have ever experienced that, right, in your life. So, and, um, and this silence can be uh, filled with a small talk um, on any topic you like. So, uh, and uh, another, yeah, so the last purpose is to mitigate the end of the conversation. So uh, when you like suddenly end uh, the conversation with the person, right, um, uh, there might appear the risk to uh, some kind of reject another person, right? So, and uh, if you want to mitigate, right, to make it more, um, soft, right, uh, to finish the conversation, uh, it can be finished with a small talk, right? Uh, so uh, how can we finish the conversation, right? Um, uh, so you can use different phrases like, this has been great, thanks for telling me about like something that you discussed, right? So uh, can't wait to hear how something goes, right? Let's catch up next time, right? And so on and so forth. Yeah, so you have to be really aware of uh, how you finish the conversation with the person. So, um, but, uh, okay. So we know the purposes of the small talk, but uh, what can we talk about uh, with people, right? And, especially with people it's okay if you for example know the person and you know which topics they uh, like to discuss but uh, it's really hard to distinguish and or to understand what topics um, can be discussed with other people right so and while small talk is a universal thing topics considered appropriate for small talk are not so um and I have prepared for you a list of topics, right? Uh, so, and I, uh, I'd like you to have a glance on the list of topics and try to uh, split them into best topics and worst topics. Yeah, and maybe I can, like, if there are any volunteers to help you with that. So that would be nice. Yeah? So if some people can help me with that. Are there any volunteers? So uh, you just have to split the topics into best ones to discuss during the small talk and worst. So that's better to avoid. Hey. Okay, hello. I think that this probably is the worst topic. Okay, so uh, the worst topic, okay, so like you managed to point out only one. Okay, uh, so any other or all other are okay? What about work? What about work? So why do you think it, uh, it is the worst topic to discuss? I think it's our uh, next topic after the small topic. Okay, after the small talk, yeah. Okay, so good. Thank you for your idea. Any other? Politics and religion is not the best topic at all. So let's say it's worst. It's worst. Okay. So, any other? Maybe health and uh, finance, it's also worst. Uh huh. Okay. So uh, let's see, right? So let's see. Uh, uh, the best topics to discuss are yeah. So weather, hobbies, food, family, travel, sports, arts, and entertainment, and work. Surprise, surprise, right? So, uh, but work that's not necessarily the business part, right? So that can be, uh, what's your job? Do you like your job, right? So where are you from? Where do you work? Where is your office? And so on and so forth, right? So the questions which are not connected with the business directly. And uh, uh, the worst topics, right? So you were right, Had, uh, death, health, politics, religion, jokes, and finances. So um, 
but to be honest that really depends on uh, the country right because you understand that health this is the first topic that can be discussed in our country for example right not the weather and then only weather so uh jokes right so you have to be really aware when you crack a joke right so uh so not to make it really uh offensive okay uh so let's move on so maybe like any questions for now do you have any Okay, so if not, then let's move on. Uh, so, and um, we go to uh, next, uh, yeah, so slide, that's about uh, top 10 tips, how to. So if I were you, I would, right? So there is a nice quote, uh, if you hate small talk, you're doing it wrong, right? So um, I'm going to give you 10 tips how to make a good small talk and uh, you will see whether you can really uh, follow all these points and uh, try to build the conversation because actually that's uh, rather difficult, right? So if you cannot uh, practice that uh, or if you do not practice that, right? Uh, so, uh, for example, let's imagine that you're uh, having some... Uh, meeting right and you are waiting for another person and uh, there is a silence right so usually something that uh, we try to avoid but still so uh, nobody knows or um, everyone is afraid to start some small talk with teammates right so therefore uh, the first one yeah try these seven conversation openers right so how can we start a conversation right uh it can be so just ask a simple question so like do you know uh where the closest starbucks is so that's not about the meeting actually but still so you can uh like come up with questions regarding the weather or what kind of music are you really into right so you have just to grab this question some simple question from the environment that you are in so um uh, next one, talk about a shared experience, right? Um, talk about why you are there, right? For example, if you're at the conference, right? So where are you from? Why you came there, right? So you can ask the person uh, what they do there and so on and so forth. So uh, next one, talk about where you are and what's happening. Uh, so uh, we are in a restaurant or we are in a meeting, right? And uh, so, uh, what is happening? So, like today, we're going to discuss something, right? Uh, or uh, so you can just uh, ask what's the topic going to be about if you're, you know, like forgot actually why you attend this meeting or something like that. So, you can give a sincere compliment, uh, right? So, ladies like compliments and gentlemen, I suppose, then, yeah, so, but it's really pleasant, yeah, for the person to receive. Uh, compliments. Uh, also, you can ask for opinion or talk about possible common interests, right? So if, for example, if you're in a meeting and you know the people that you are with, you can ask them about the football match or about, I don't know, some um, games like computer games they played or some, I don't know, new technologies invented, right? And so on and so forth. So, um, uh, yeah, that's it. So like uh, some open the conversation with some simple question. So uh, second, uh, make it rewarding to talk to you by showing that you listen, right? So listening, that's really important while you're having a small talk. So, uh, you know, like uh, when you see the person, it's uh, wonderful when you can see his um, face, his gestures, his body language, his reaction, because, for example, now I'm speaking and unfortunately I do not see you. Uh, what you're doing, are you nodding or you don't say anything, right? But still, so um, uh, when you're listening and uh, when you're having the conversation, you have to uh, uh, do your best to listen to the person even if the person is not truly really interesting to talk to the, sometimes it happens right but still you need to uh, show that how so uh you listen with intent and sincere interest right 
So you have to use some verbal acknowledgement to show that you are listening while they're talking, right? So uh, you say, that's interesting, sounds great, right? Not only like keeping silence, yeah? So you have to react somehow to what the person is saying. Uh, tell us more, so I don't believe that how come and so on. Uh, also non-verbal acknowledgement that you listen. So that can be nodding, right? So every time when you're, for example, speaking during the English lesson, right? So you're uh, really uh, like full of courage when the teacher is nodding, right? So that by this way, like the person realizes that uh, he's saying the right way, right? And uh, the person is listening to him very attentively. So you can say, mm -hmm. so yeah, um, some, some voice at least, no silence at all. Uh, sec next one, ask follow-up questions to keep people talking, right? Uh, so follow-up questions, right? It's like not, how are you? I'm fine, and this is the end of our conversation, right? So don't forget that your answer also uh, influences what questions you might be asked later, right? So you have to give extended answers, right? Or yeah, some people say they don't want to listen to your all your story behind, but still, yeah. So give some facts uh, about your weekend, right, or about your deals, so that the person can ask you some additional questions. Um, yeah. So what happened? So. Uh, who was there and so on and so forth. So who did you go to the bar with? How was the interior and so on. Um, next one, ask about what you have been told. Uh, it's like some kind of like, uh, um, you want the person to extend yeah, on some details and uh, paraphrase what people said to show you heard them and understand, right? So, uh, uh, yeah, active, that's called, all these tips are called active listening, right? Uh, so put away your phone, right? Concentrate on the person you're listening to or having the conversation with and uh, yeah, follow the tips. So next is a um, uh, very nice uh, kind of, you know, uh, tip, uh, use what if scenarios. I like that my students I know that my students really like uh, conditionals, yes, and uh, if clauses and so on. So that's why this is a good practice uh, of uh, if sentences, right? So when you ask the question using, using if scenarios, right, people, you stimulate the, pers the person to think over, right, to imagine something. And uh, by this way, so you can um, like stimulate the conversation. Uh, or encourage the conversation. So uh, next tip, open-ended questions. Uh, so conversations get more enjoyable when you ask open-ended questions. Anything that can be answered with more than yes or no is a good start, right? So open-ended questions, as I have already mentioned, questions which start with uh, some special words, some like uh, special uh, question words like what, who, why, when, because if you ask, do you like ice cream? Yeah, I do, right? So this is the end of conversation. You kill the conversation. But um, if I start, if I ask, so what ice cream do you like? Uh, what did you do at the weekend? Uh, how did you do that? When did you do that? Why did you do that? And so on. Uh, so uh, you will, uh, um, like uh, stimulate, yes, yeah, so uh, you will make the conversation. Uh, so, yeah, you can inspire more interesting conversation for yourself as well, right? Um, moreover, uh, when you have some uh, questions, yeah, so uh, open-ended questions that uh, takes more energy for the person to answer you, right? So it's not just, okay, yeah, I do, I like it. So no, so they will have to think about that. So, and um, next tip is uh, be curious, ask for their opinion, right? Don't forget, yeah, so it's nice when someone wants to know what you think, it's also interesting to learn more about what people think and why. 
Yeah. So stay curious. Yeah. Be curious. Ask for opinion. So next one, use friendly body language. Yeah. So this is really important, I suppose. Right. So if the person is smiling, yeah. So you have some easygoing eye contact. Yeah. So the arms are not crossed. So the person is relaxed. Um, this is a good uh, sign of uh, mm, the fact that your conversation will uh, will be nice. Yeah, will be uh, relaxed. Will be easy, right? Uh, so number seven. Um, so there are some stress. Okay, you know, like uh, some people are really afraid of. Uh, starting a conversation with strangers, right? Uh, or starting a conversation in, in general. So uh, therefore, there are some strategies to overcome your nervousness when you talk to someone. So, and the first one is um, named the three second rule. By the way, does anyone know what kind of rule is that? So do you know, so like in conversation making, so what kind of rule? So what does this rule mean? Okay, so uh, the basic idea, yeah, so three second rule. Um, if you uh, mm, do not approach the person within three seconds, you want to, yeah? So uh, you might not do it at all. I mean, like, for example, you see the person or you're on a meeting, so right, and you want to talk to them. So, but uh, if you count to, to three and you do not uh, start the conversation, so there is a possibility that you will not do it at all. Yeah, so this is the rule of three seconds. So like if you want to do, count to three and do. Like if not, so you will fail. Uh, so next one, focus all your attention on uh, the other person, right? And uh, imagine that you are talking to a friend, right? So like people, um, some people are kind. Yeah, so they're kind people. That's why. So you haven't, don't have to be afraid of them, right? So each person is... Uh, kind of uh, willing or tend to uh, have a conversation, not about some nonsense, but like uh, latest issues uh, possible to uh, discuss. Uh, so uh, know that it's okay to talk to someone despite being nervous, right? So we are all people, we're all human, right? And it's so hard to um, to talk, especially when you uh, prepare a speech in front of the audience or when you uh, need to start a conversation with uh, another person or for example when you uh, call somewhere for the first time right so you feel some uh, nervousness inside of you right so but uh, you have to understand that people can understand that right and uh, it's it's not a big deal so if you uh, you're a little bit nervous so try to Take deep, common breath, and yeah, so start the conversation. So remind yourself of your strengths, right? So if you're nervous to start a conversation, you might be very good at uh, having the conversation, right? Or I don't know, like cracking a joke, or I don't know, like telling some anecdotes, or uh, I don't know, so whatever, right? So uh, therefore, uh, don't be afraid that uh, if you like nervous to start the conversation, so you might not, uh, you know, have it in general. And the last one is practice. Yeah, so this is the best recommendation to cope with your fear of uh, conversation making is to practice. Yeah, so uh, try to uh, find any opportunity or possibility to have a conversation with the person, right? For example, uh, next time when you have a meeting and you're waiting for another person, so try to start a conversation and see, like first time it might be really difficult, but maybe second time you will cope with that really easily. So uh, let's move on. Number eight, 
and number nine. So I've decided to unite them into like one slide. So ego check and four troubles, right? So this is something you have to be aware of. Uh, so the first, try to avoid turning the attention of the conversation back on yourself. Yes, so we like to talk about ourselves, but remember, uh, small talk is really small, right? So that's why don't like uh, pull yeah, the blanket and do not uh, try to focus on yourself. Uh, remember that this is a dialogue, not a monologue. And uh, avoid saying anything that could be interpreted as criticism or judgment, right? So we uh, make a small talk, we do not judge, right? So uh, these are two things that you have to be aware of. And the last one is read, yes? Um, so the person uh, has to keep up to date on the latest news. So you always have something to talk about and try to read things on a wide variety of topics. You understand that if you want to speak about sports, holidays, gadgets, I don't know, clothes, music, travel, whatever, um, you have to have some knowledge about that, right? Uh, so about traveling, that, you know, like uh, about some uh, gadgets. So uh, that's why um, try to read some interesting articles, some, watch some videos, uh, I don't know, uh, collect some news from your uh, colleagues, right? And sh later share this uh, information with your, uh, like with other people. So um, these are like 10 tips how to have a nice conversation. So guys, do you have any questions for now regarding the tips? Well, I guess um, everything is clear or like we're not. Okay, so if everything is fine, then let's move on. So, and next, our next point is small talk across cultures, right? Mm, so I will just uh, say a little about that. Um, uh, whether you're meeting with a business partner or just trying to fit in with the locals on vacation, how you approach small talk is an immediate indicator of your cultural knowledge. The first few sentences you exchange may set the tone for the rest of your conversation or meeting, so it's important to start out on the right foot. So, uh, yeah, and that's really important, right? So there are nations, yeah, so like, uh, people from like specific cultures can be uh, divided into two parts. Uh, those who are um, like okay with small talks and those who are not really. So, and I have collected several, um, uh, several um, like uh, feedbacks, right, from like people all over the world uh, who shared their, uh, you know, attitude to small talk. And so, and we can see that, for example, people in India, so they are uh, always eager to have a small talk, right? So even with a stranger. So if you see a person, an Indian, but, but there might be problems with their accent, right? So that be aware of that. So United States, right? So people from United States, um, consider so like socially awkward if you don't have a conversation with them yeah it shouldn't be like really long uh so and they're really like polite asking how are you doing yeah how are things mm, try not to give all your background right <laughs> information of your life but still so some facts about yourself and they will consider that to be really uh mm, polite yeah so yeah, Americans, important to talk to and get to know everyone, yeah, so they meet, so they, they, they are like the nation of conversation making. Uh, so as for Germany, 
Swedes, right? Uh, Finland, yeah, uh, in Finland, they do not uh, really into uh, conversation making. Yeah, yeah. So, and if you can see, like the person from Germany, right? Uh, if uh, they're riding public transport, right? So they have their earphones plugged in and uh, they are like concentrated, focused on some, uh, I don't know, like maybe a newspaper on their hands and so or whatever in the window, but they do not really want to make a conversation with strangers. Um, but you see, like if you need help, right? Uh, the people are really mm, okay. They are to help you with the directions. Yeah. So like if you speak to the point, not but uh, about some kind of, you know, uh, not needed things. Uh, as for, um, yeah, like uh, Europe. Yeah. So like more mm, uh, friendly to strangers. Yeah. So like North Wales, yeah, Northern England. Yeah. And so you can see a list of uh, places like locations where they are okay with um, with small talks. Um, okay, uh, so let's move on, right? Uh, I suppose that I will wrap it up, right? So uh, yeah, so ma uh, making small talks, do's and don'ts. Uh, so uh what you have to do and what you don't have to do so when we speak about timing right so uh, you need to pick a time when it's okay for the person to uh, have a small talk right um uh, like do not try to interrupt with your conversation another conversation right so okay okay may i talk about traveling right so it doesn't go there uh, uh so um, do not try to in like intrude in the conversation if the person is carrying out uh, some important task, right? So do not distract, right? And uh, so uh, don't be like very quick with ending the conversation. So like, so you kind of like finish, started the conversation and very quickly finished that. So uh, the person like really didn't understand what you wanted to, uh, to tell or to, from him. Uh, second, body language, right? So like, again, try to be friendly, uh, make eye contact, right? Yeah, so read body language, right? So do not face away from people. Yeah, do not stare at other things mm, like I mean, because this kind of uh, body language mm, uh, says that you are not really interested in the conversation. So, uh, yeah, be aware of the topics that you uh, pick, yeah, and um, the language. So, uh, language informal, but polite, friendly tone, repeat their name. So, yeah, so that's really important, by the way, uh, tip to repeat the name of the person. Might be strange at first, but uh, it's better, like, if you repeat rather than you forget the name of the person you're talking to. So, and ask questions, yeah, so that's really important. And uh, the language, don't stay silent, yeah, so if the person is talking to you, so try to give more information, right, if the person asks you some open-ended questions, so try to give more extended answers. And um, uh, so try not to, but still try, like, to preserve those borders, right, uh, between you and the person, right? So don't be too friendly and too polite. So uh, this is something I uh, wanted to share with you. Yeah, so thank you for your uh, attention. And if you have any questions, uh, I'm ready to answer them. Daria, uh, we have a question in the chat from mm -hmm. Olga. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> how many attempts can I make using Recycle Rule? Okay. Um, well, it depends. Uh, you know, like they say, if uh, you see, like, if you see the person, right, first, 
uh, you count to three and you have to approach the person. If you do not, so that depends on your, uh, you know, like personality. So you can try again, but according to psychologists, right? Uh, so people usually tend to uh, like stay silent. Yeah, so they do not uh, actually um, move to the person. Yeah, so they stand and continue being uh, shy, right? So then I guess, well, actually that's not a problem for me to start a conversation with the person, you know, like even after a second. So <laughs> that's why uh, I suppose that uh, you have to follow the rule, right? Uh, so if not, we, we shall see uh, whether that would be possible to try again. Because, but because like uh, the more you try, the less you are uh, more, con the less you're confident that you have to do that. So I hope you, I answered the question. So any other questions you have? Hello, Daria. I've got a question. <laughs> so uh, first of all, thanks for the, uh, for the information, Jeff. Um, so the question is the following. From your practical experience, what are your favorite topics for talk? Well, uh, okay, thank you for your question. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, like uh, there is um, some uh, kind of uh, belief that uh, Daria likes gossips, you know, so and this is like the best topic for discussion, but that's actually a joke. So uh, I guess uh, that depends on the person I'm um, having a conversation with, right? Uh, so if not about work, because like, you know, I can't live without uh, talking about my job. Uh, so I prefer talking about uh, well, I think music and maybe a little about films that I watched, but you know, that's hard to do, have a conversation with me about films because I do not really remember the names of the films, but I remember the plot very well. And I think about the kids, you know, <laughs> so if I meet a person who has a kid, so I have plenty of stories um, and anecdotes to share with them. But if that person, if it's a business conference or a meeting, right, if it's like formal situation, uh, of course, I will ask about um, some, I will like ask questions regarding the um, environment we are in. So what's the purpose, where the person is from? So, for example, once I um, attended some conference yeah, in a foreign country where the teachers from all over the world gathered together for some uh, small um, workshops. Yeah, so and the, like the best topics, what, what kind of topic are you going to present? So what are you going to talk about? Uh, so what is the main idea of that and so on? Yes, uh, that's true. I always ask about, we can't not about music. <laughs> so, but this is, you know, like the best tradition after uh, we return back from weekend. But I hope when I ask the question about weekend, I hope that my students will tell me some curious things about music, about films, about, I don't know, latest gossips regarding the weekend and so because the topic of weekend is really wide. But now I got you, so I will start with other uh, questions, but not with about the weekend. <laughs> okay, Vlad, so I will, so for sure. But I'm sure I know nothing about the bands. So I, I believe that our conversation will finish very quickly okay any other questions thank you you're yeah, welcome <laughs> uh, can we just comment uh, a bit uh, on your answer actually i've been thinking about that if yeah. you don't mind yeah, sure. um it's more of a help for people who are listening right now because, you know, when teachers ask about the weekend, of course, it's like the easiest way to start a small talk with people you haven't seen for a few days. And uh, they like bear in mind that we meet the same uh, 
group of people all the time. So it's hard to start. Okay, let's talk about music today. Yeah, you know, this thing. Uh, so what teachers, uh, what we usually do is we try to get any fact from you, anything you can tell us so that we could elaborate on that and we could ask and, you know, make this small talk going. So next time a teacher asks you guys, how was your weekend? Make an effort, think of anything you did, even if it's nothing really serious, nothing cool, nothing out of ordinary. Just give us something to start to talk to and that's already gonna be really nice for everyone, believe me. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Ksenia, for your notice. Okay, so any other questions? So I guess like uh, all the information was uh, understandable, clear. So I expect everyone to have a conversation, good conversation and make the conversation, not be really shy to start the conversation because that might be the most difficult thing, right? To start the conversation. Don't be afraid that uh, you're like, um, so people don't need you with your questions. Yeah, so maybe, uh, so like think that other people also expect the question from you, right? And then, so your conversation will uh, start, right? So you will just make a small kick to the conversation. Okay, so if we have like no questions, uh, Victoria, I suppose we can stop that. <laughs> Victor. Um, yes, we can start off. Uh, thank you, Daria. You're welcome. Всем спасибо большое, что поприсутствовали сегодня на нашей презентации. В дальнейшем мы постараемся удивлять вас интересными темами. Я думаю, что вам будет интересно еще услышать отзывы вообще. Да, было бы здорово, если бы вы оставляли свои uh, отзывы, как вообще понравилось, понравился вам uh, такой формат uh, презентации. И uh, я думаю, что мы все-таки планируем, uh, опять же, проводить и дальше презентации на английском языке. Uh, очень здорово, потому что вы практикуете свою речь. В смысле, listening comprehension, да? А мы свою речь. Вот, поэтому... Все, жду отзывов. Спасибо большое, Даша. Всем, ребят, хорошего вечера. Пока. Всем пока. Bye.